uh, uh, issues uh, that we are currently facing is the change in uh, the fiscal regime mm -hmm. uh, and specifically looking at the petroleum uh, sector. Mm -hmm. um, with the enactment of the Finance Act, it proposed uh, uh, the increase of uh, value added tax on fuel from 8% to 16%. I think that's one of the uh, areas that has really seen um, the fuel prices take a, a considerable hit. Mm. Well, the argument um, from government has been that uh, doubling the VAT was to essentially eliminate the import uh, fees which uh, stood at 3.5%, yes. uh, as well as the railway uh, levy that, was at, uh, that stood at 2%. Uh, 2%. But that still essentially means that government has uh, imposed an additional 2.5% mm. uh, on Kenyans uh, when it comes to fuel. So there's a lot that uh, goes into definitely understanding uh, uh, why the, 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 the Kenyans are feeling the price as it is. Yeah. Uh, and uh, for us to do that, we need to, uh, to appreciate uh, what is happening in the uh, global uh, market. Yes. Uh, first and foremost, uh, crude oil prices, uh, the, the price of oil is, is, de is determined by uh, uh, global uh, pr prices of commodity. Mm -hmm. um, and you have these 23 members uh, of uh, OPEC Plus. Uh, and one of the major issues that right now we are facing is that uh, countries such as Saudi Arabia have decided to cut back on yes. their production. Yes. Uh, and we just saw uh, up until July they decided that they are going to hold an additional one million bar barrels. Yes. So it, it, it really then essentially means that it's driving the cost of um, uh, the crude oil prices uh, to, to skyrocket. Mm. Um, and essentially that means, uh, even for us as a country, um, uh, the oil uh, uh, marketers mm -hmm. uh, who are essentially supposed to import this crude oil through the open uh, tender system yes. uh, are definitely getting it at a higher uh, price. Mm -hmm. uh, normally the pricing uh, is determined by a mechanism called the Mediterranean Platts yes. that we normally use. Mm -hmm. uh, and so by the time that gets to uh, to Kenya because once uh, these 90 plus companies bid uh, through the open tender system mm -hmm. uh, the one with the lowest value is the one that gets the business yes. and is the one that then is uh, essentially supposed to import uh, refined product yes. on behalf of the country uh, as well as other uh, oil uh, uh, oil marketers. Yes. So once that happens, then um, the Kenya Pipeline Company, together with the Ministry of Energy and Petroleum, together with a uh, few other stakeholders, then um, sit down to determine uh, uh, through the petroleum pricing regulations, of course, being oversighted by EPRA, how uh, the prices are going to be set. Yeah. So that's what uh, for the 15th or the 14th of every month, we are able to get that particular update from EPRA as to the outlook of the prices every yes. month. Yes. yes. 